Hey peeps, welcome back. We're looking at Cube Director's Cut. I don't know what the regular cut is. I've only seen uh, the directors. So yeah, this is another little indie game I completed recently. Well, I say indie, I don't actually know if it's indie or not. I'm just assuming. Um, yeah. I completed this recently, and I really liked it. It's a first-person puzzler, in a similar vein to Portal, but it has its own unique uh, puzzles, and so I think I'm just going to dip into... Wait, what does this say? Uh, yeah. No, wait, yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah has its own unique puzzles, which I will show you in this tutorial. Okay, so this is the tutorial here. Uh, I feel like I should start off by saying that I really recommend that you play with a mouse and keyboard, because I tried with a controller. I usually play all games with a controller, but for this game, I don't know, the analog sticks just weren't weren't precise enough uh, at, at all and then yeah the mouse just like way way more advantageous so yeah um as you would expect with most puzzlers it starts off pretty basic pretty easy even for someone like me who's kind of a bit slow uh, yeah, so very aesthetically reminiscent of Portal. I don't think anyone will argue with that, but you know, it's it's no ripoff by any means. Even if the storyline is a little similar, it's uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's not a big deal at all. Because I actually thought that the storyline was, you know, pretty decent. Um, it's engaging, it's mysterious, and you definitely get that sense of um, loneliness and uh, isolation. So, at some point here we're going to get to the first puzzle. Right, here we go. So, you have these hands, which can raise and lower cubes, hence the name. Cube. So, yeah, what the hell? Okay. See, I'm already forgetting things, but yeah, so the cubes are all different colours, which behave in different ways. See, the blue one here will bounce you up. <laughs> like so. Oh, that was a little premature. Do that one again. See, this is very portal, you know. Using um, momentum to get you to places. Oh! I wasn't ready at that time. Okay, let's do this again. And boom! Right in yellow here is you hit that and the cube that you selected will be the highest one to raise. Just like that and just like that. So essentially it's like a staircase. So again, the tutorial is just basically telling you right now how all these different cubes behave because you will need to basically just memorize it as the game progresses. Oops. And uh, the puzzles, they aren't overly hard. I mean, I will say that at the end there is definitely a couple of stinkers that 
I'm really sad to say that I cheated. <laughs> oh god. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, because I, especially this one, I don't want to spoil it, but there was one that was really bad, and I mean really bad. Um, and I needed help for that one, most definitely. Um, but I tried, you know, I, I gave it a good shot. And plus it gets to that point where, you know, you know that you're, ne you're near the end of the game and you just kind of, you're so engaged in the storyline, you just want to see the end already. You know, you don't want to break that momentum, that's the difficult thing with developers, you know, when they're faced with um, these difficult... Whoa, the walls are moving. Yeah, they're faced with the dilemma of having to increase the difficulty because... What the hell? What's happened here? So do this. And then... Do this. Right. Yeah, so that's the kind of the dilemma that a lot of developers face when they approach the end of a game because they don't they want to keep that momentum going because they know that the players you know anticipating an ending so to speak and but they they do they don't want to make it too difficult that the, the player just quits and breaks that flow of a narrative so it's a fine line anyway uh, so that's basically the tutorial there. Uh, from here on out, it gets the difficulty incre uh, increases gradually, as you would expect. And uh, oh, I also feel compelled to say that it does have Oculus support, which is interesting to me because I am interested in VR, but. Uh, I will say that for this game, there are some sections in it which did make me feel quite nauseous. <laughs> and I think maybe Oculus would have only increased that uh, by a good fraction. So I'd keep that in mind if you were to try with an Oculus. Have a, a strong stomach. <laughs> anyway, this has been cube the director's cut uh, i really recommend this game thank you for watching